Hi, this is Miss Rains with Sort 31. And again, we're talking about Latin root words with Words Their Way. And we have three categories again this week, um, but the only difference is we have 22 words instead of 24 words. So for our three categories, we have dick, which means say or speak. We have odd, which means hear, and viz, which means see. So for our category for dick, we have dictate, dictionary, edict, contradict, unpredictable, prediction, and dictator. For odd, which means here we have laudable, audible, auditorium, audiovisual, audio tape, audition, auditory, and audience. For vis, which means see, we have visible, vista, revisit, visitor, supervisor, vision, and invisible. So those are our three sorts, and I have the, um, the different categories underlined in each of the words and where they belong. And then I also have in yellow the words for my triple I group. Okay, so for number one, number one we have dictate. Dictate means to give orders or to read aloud something or to write something down. So in this case for the sentence I have the, the more of like the giving orders part of it. So the sentence I have is, Hitler is an example of someone who used his power to dictate to a group of people. It's almost like he was able to control them by what he was saying. Number two, dictionary. Dictionary is a book that lists words in alphabetical order with their meaning. So we've all used a dictionary in my class. And um, so you know that when you're using the dictionary that you check, you can use the words to check the spelling and that you can also look up the definitions of the words. So the sense that I have is you may use the dictionary to check your spelling and usage of the vocabulary words. Number three, edict. An edict is an official order or a pro proclamation of having and having the force of law behind it. So the sentence that I have is under the queen's edict, all men of the royal family must serve at least two years in the military. So the edict doesn't really have an option. You have to do it. Number four, Contradict. Contradict is to deny the truth or to be in conflict with something. And conflict is when you have a problem with something. So the sentence that I have is, you should not contradict the call the referee has made. So meaning that you should not argue with um, the referee, basically. Number five, laudable. Laudable means praiseworthy, admirable, or commendable. So laudable is kind of like an oddball word. It's not really, um, it's not really with the hearing part of it, but I guess it could be with like the hearing praise or the hearing or seeing something admirable, but it's kind of like one of those oddball words in that list. So um, for laudable, I have, while Jason did not win the contest, his efforts were laudable enough to be mentioned by the judges. So meaning that he still did pretty well enough to be mentioned. Number six, audible. Audible means to be able to be heard. So the sentence that I have is, her whisper was barely audible, even with her lips so close to her friend's ear. So even though she was so close to her friend, her friend could barely hear her speaking. Number seven, audition. Audition means to try out for a particular role as like a singer or a dancer, a musician, or an actor. So trying out something um, for a part. And so the sentence I have is, when he came into the audition for the part in the play, he was very charming. So he was probably trying to be super friendly to the judges so that he could get the part. Number eight, auditory. Auditory is a sense of hearing or the organs that actually are able to um, be a part of the hearing process. So the sentence I have for auditory is, many people are auditory learners who learn best through hearing. Number nine, visible. Visible is able to be seen. The sentence that I have is the ocean was visible from their resort hotel room. So meaning they could see the ocean from where they were staying. Number 10, revisit. Revisit is to come back or to visit something again. So the sentence that I have is, she went to revisit her childhood home after many years away from her hometown. Number 11, visitor. A visitor is a person visiting, or um, it could be 
not necessarily just visiting another person. It could be just visiting a place. So the sentence that I have is, they had a visitor staying with them through the holidays. So most likely a family member, right? Number 12, vision. Vision is seeing some someone or something. So the sentence I have for vision is, she had a clear vision of a goal that she wanted to accomplish. So in this case, it's not the literal sense of vision. It's actually something that she saw in her mind um, of something that she wanted to do. Number 13, vista. A vista is a beautiful view from a high position or to remember something that happened in sequence and the way it happened. So the sentence that I have is more talking about the beautiful view, view part of it. So um, I have gazing at the beautiful view, the artist grabbed his pencil and began to sketch the vista. Number 14, auditorium. An auditorium is a large building used for stage performances. Usually like middle schools or um, high schools will have auditoriums um, because they have drama clubs or they have the band that usually does performances there. So, um, and we do have a stage, but it's in our cafeteria, not really an auditorium. So an auditorium would have like, you know, usually like rows of seats where you could sit in and watch the show comfortably. So the sentence that I have is the auditorium held about 2,500 spectators. And that word spectator is from our word, our list of words last week. So hopefully you remember what that means. Number 15, unpredictable. Unpredictable means not being able to predict what will happen. So not making a prediction or not being able to make a prediction of something. So the sentence that I have is, she is the type of person who likes to be unpredictable and spontaneous. Number 16. Supervisor. Supervisor is like a boss, a person who oversees a person or an activity, or it could be a group of people. Um, so the sentence I have is, the supervisor recommended his employees receive a raise and pay for doing a job well done. Number 17, audiovisual. Audiovisual, basically if you break apart the word, audio means to hear, visual means to see. So it means using both sight and sound. So the sentence that I have is the group put together a stunning audio vis visual presentation with music and video clips with the information that they were sharing. So they were able to see and hear something from their presentation. Number 18, audio tape. An audio tape is a tape recording of, of sound. Um, so it's like talking about the cassette tapes back in the day. Um, so the sentence I have is one major problem with the Bigfoot sightings was that there was rarely any photographs or sounds of the creature recorded on audio tape. Number 19, invisible. Invisible is unable to be seen. So the sentence that I have for invisible is with the telescope, they could see stars that were typically invisible to them. Number 20 is prediction. Prediction is the action of predicting or making a guess as to what will happen. So in this case, I was thinking of weather forecasters, um, like at news stations. Um, so the sentence I have is all the local forecasters are making a prediction of rain for this afternoon. Number 21, dictator. A dictator is a ruler with total power over a country. So just like we talked about with the word dictate, dictate is when you are telling somebody to do something. Um, so the dictator is the actual person or the ruler um, that is saying those dictates. So Hitler would be the dictator. So in this, uh, this sentence, I said, this, the country has survived under one dictator for more than 40 years. So one person having complete and total power for 40 years. Number 22. Audience. Audience is a group of spectators watching. So the sentence I have is the jingle ball attracted a large audience. All right, so those are all the 22 words and the sentences with the definitions. Again, um, don't forget to do your words their way homework. It is due this Friday, and we will also be having our spelling and vocabulary test. All right, see you tomorrow.